Good morning. Welcome to Good Vibes. I am Lisa Half the Hippie Chick here with Dane Henning. I forgot. I think it's like a dude. dude. Yeah. yeah. How could you forget that? I'm such a good hippie. Let's put it that way. We're I'm trying. Such a good I'm hippie. trying so hard. I'm really good at it. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> So I wanted to circle back to our last show. Yeah. We talked about creativity. Yeah. And I had a couple of things I wanted to show on the show that were examples of creativity, okay. and I forgot to do it. So oh. I'd like to do that now, if Let's that's okay with everybody. Yeah. So I think Gary has a graphic of my nails. Aren't those pretty? I had on a, a peacock-themed outfit, and my nail tech, Sayward Duffield, out of Salon Envy and Grove, does wonderful job on my nails, and she did a... A peacock feather on one of my fingers there and I thought that was really pretty and very creative and yeah I thought that was great art so my and, nails my nails look the same way they're beautiful yeah. let's see oh they're yeah. lovely they the and then I have this beautiful jacket that is hand painted oh that is cool isn't that pretty mm -hmm. and all the peacock but it's all hand painted mm -hmm. and that came from the den of uniquity on monkey island oh. Oklahoma at Joyce Duke's shop. So it's okay. very cool. So I thought those were beautiful things. And I want to cool. hear about all the creative things you like to do and that you do with your residents. So be sure to go watch that show and comment and we'll have some more fun things to show everybody. I have green paint stain, stains on my pants. Intentionally? No, by accident. I, we were painting the studio and uh -huh. it still hasn't come out. But hmm. So I'm creative too. You are creative, the kind yeah. of Dalmatian yeah, themed Dal Dal thing. Green Dalmatian. -y. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so <laughs> we know who's going to be in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Should we talk about it? Chiefs and Niners. Chiefs and Niners. Chiefs I am Niners. a Chiefs fan. Uh -huh. My husband is a die-hard Niners fan. Okay. So we're going to have a little intervention at our house that day. Sure. If I anybody bet. wants to. You know, come yeah, help us with that. Well, yeah, let's see. It's going to be in a couple of weeks. Um, early betting so far has the Chiefs by a point, I think. Uh, being from where we're from, everybody around here, big yeah, Kansas City Chiefs fans. Yeah, so, yeah. And Niner fans can be found all over the place. So, yeah. because they're so, so big. Gary has his opinion about what, who's going to win and by how much. So I'd like him to share that. Chiefs by 10. Chiefs by 10. I like yeah. it. Chiefs by 10. I'm going to say Chiefs by 7. Chiefs by seven. Okay, so I want the Chiefs to win, but if I had to put my own money down on it, I'm going to say Niners by four. Mm. Okay. Niners by four. All right, so defense wins Defense wins championships. I mean, that's it, just the way it is. It is a matter of record. Yep. You can... Niners by four. You can, you know, you give us your own thoughts. I'll be rooting for the Chiefs. Comment and tell us what you think, and we'll, we'll announce who had the right score. Maybe I'll, we'll have a little prize for you. I'll be rooting for the Chiefs. Okay. So I'm not a big Chiefs fan. Though. I'm not. I, to be fair, I'm not a big Chiefs fan. Okay. Yeah. You probably could have left that out. I'm just so, saying. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying <laughs> that it's not. Okay. All right. It's non-biased here. I'm not a fan right. of either one of them. All right. So, so we have our our predictions in. <sighs> yeah. So today I want to talk about clutter okay. and how it affects us not only um, emotionally and but physically and and how that interacts with us. Okay. So. Um, we're titled A Cluttered Mind. Um, I did some, started doing some research about mm -hmm. this, and it's really interesting. The um, part of your brain that acknowledges pain is the same part of your brain that is activated when you give away something that was sentimental or special to you. Oh, that's interesting. So you really do have a reaction, a negative reaction in your body when you do that. So I thought that was very interesting. That is very cool. Well, not cool. But, no, but yeah. it's it's very interesting. So, and it can. It's <laughs> so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna, so I'm cool. gonna force everybody to do it now. <laughs> so I know cool. personally when um, as I get older, it seems like I have a little more clutter because sure. you know we've. My husband was an only child, and when mm -hmm. we lost his mom, we wanted to keep some of her things, and mm -hmm. um, you know we've had businesses that we kept things from, and it just seems like. There's just stuff we don't need, we don't use, we don't. I, I'm starting to, because I'm not really big on the, I I mean, my desk is is most of the time an absolute wreck, but um, a lot of that has to do with a lot of stuff to do. But uh, in terms of at home, mm -hmm. I typically like to just th throw whatever away. That's good. But now, I mean, I have a three-year-old. Mm. She loves to color, and we talk about creativity, and she loves to color and do that kind of thing. And 
So we have just, just about every single photo she's ever drawn, ever, <laughs> on our refrigerator. <laughs> we've run out of magnets. We've run out of room on the refrigerator. So, I mean, I'm not that big of a cluttery type of person, but I can understand that. You can see that. where and that comes from. Every time I walk by, I love seeing her pictures. I, mm -hmm. I do. Izzy, I love you. But... <laughs> We, we got. We don't need let's all. let's consolidate a little bit. You know, let's I kept, I had a box. You know, one of the plastic storage boxes. Yeah. And anything Lexi would bring home from school that I wanted to make sure we kept, mm -hmm. or if she drew something or painted something that I knew sure. she wanted to keep, it all would go in that box. Sure. And then every year I would go through and pick out something that I thought was really special, mm -hmm. and I would frame it. Okay. And then I would switch that out with something else every year. Oh, and yeah. so, you know, put that one back in the box and put a new one in the next Smart. year. And so then we had it on display. It would, seemed a lot more important than being on the refrigerator with a magnet. It was mm -hmm. a picture that hung on the wall, you know, sure. and um, made her feel good like she was an artist. Right. And so that's kind of a fun thing you could do. Well, and, and yeah, absolutely. And I think all, I mean, it's just really the I think you hit the nail on the head on the sentimental thing, because it's like if you if you. I would feel pain if I took yeah. something that Izzy did and even, not even throw it away, but put it someplace. Really? I'd feel like, oh my God, I, this hurts. So, um, and my wife, she's also a first grade teacher. Yeah. So she's constantly getting things. Um, she's not a, she's not a hoarder or clutter, clutter mm -hmm. sort of person either, but she likes to keep the things that, you know, her students give her for gifts or Aww, make for her, sweet. things like that. And I'm sure that CNAs have oh, residents gosh, that, that, you know, give them n not gifts, but make them something or whatever, right. maybe some crafts or something right. like that. I'm sure that, they, that there's some very sentimental things that they have it, just outside of, I mean, just within work. And then I know many CNAs that have kids if not tons of kids so i would only imagine <laughs> on, on on what their clutter could potentially yeah. or their refrigerator could potentially look like <laughs> well and they say you know you mentioned your desk uh -huh. it doesn't matter if it's your closet your desk a table it doesn't matter where the clutter is if it's something you see every day you interact with every day yeah it has that negative effect oh, yeah. and um it actually can compete for your attention even if you don't realize it and it can kind of overload you and make you feel overwhelmed and then mm -hmm. you're not sure how to deal with it because you feel overwhelmed, sure. you know? So I'm thinking like on your desk, maybe you just create some organized piles so or a, and make a little file for them so everything's in a little yeah. file and you can reach it really quickly. Yeah. But it feels like your desk is more. Well, and I was, um, I hate, I hate doing the dishes. I can't stand doing it, but somehow they got to be my job. Okay. So, cause you're a good husband. Something like that. <laughs> but yeah, I hate, I hate doing the dishes. <laughs> and, um, th this week was really, this last week was really busy. Um, and I didn't get a chance to get to it until the, the weekend. Uh -huh. And I know what you're talking about because the dishes were like piling up and I had just this an easy feeling, feeling mm -hmm. the entire time that it has to be done, but I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just don't mm -hmm. want to do it. But then when it was done, I mean, I felt extremely better. Yeah, I mean, really. Significantly so. better. I mean. And I think even if you can just do a few things a day, sure. You know, don't be overwhelmed by it. Just take one drawer, mm -hmm. you know, and just go through the one drawer. Mm -hmm. But I found a really neat um, organization that can help with that. It's called Give Back Box. Dot com and Gary's got a graphic. They say to save your Amazon and Chewy, you know, all the boxes you mm -hmm. get. And you can put, as you go through those drawers, anything you want to donate, put them in that box. Oh. And then you can go to their website and print a free shipping, shipping label. Shipping label, that's amazing. And they will take it to um, places where they can give it to people who need it. That's awesome. Yes. And you can also, right from there, when you create your shipping label, print a receipt for your taxes for the donation. Very cool. So it's a win-win for everybody. You get rid of the boxes instead of them going in the trash or not mm -hmm. being reused. So mm -hmm. you're recycling the box, you're getting rid of clutter in your house, and you're getting a tax write-off. So all those things are good things. Right. Absolutely. So yeah. I really want to encourage you to check out that company and take advantage of that. So Very cool. Um, Very cool. The one other thing I want to discuss about clutter mm -hmm. is that it doesn't have to be physical. Let's talk for a minute about digital clutter. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Think of your mailboxes. Yeah. Yeah. They say it's really important psychologically for you yeah. to clean out your mailboxes every day. 
say it, even if you're putting things in folders, you know, deleting what you don't need, if you will do it every day, it keeps from being overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And I, on my personal email, um, my gosh, I can get, I have two because I have a business one and a personal one. I can get 100 to 200 a day between those two. That's crazy. Mm. And so, you know, go in and unsubscribe to things you don't look at. You know, you thought at the time, I really want to see their stuff and I never use it. Go in and unsubscribe. Or they automatically those. subscribe you into something and yes. you didn't know Go that unsubscribe happened. from those things and make folders. So if it's something you do want to refer back to later, in my case, like right now, I'm thinking about my garden for spring. Yeah. So I'm getting lots of, you know, sale catalogs and things like that virtually i've just created a folder for the garden so i just move them over there and then when i'm ready to deal with that they're all there but they're sure. not cluttering up my mailbox also you know your personal um on, on your personal devices phones or mm -hmm. with your phones a lot of photos a lot of pictures true uh, especially if you have kids and know that you're taking pictures mm -hmm. I, I understand <laughs> you're taking pictures constantly all the time they they burp you take a picture of it i get it i get it um but um there are cloud services. That's uh, right. There are uh, ways that you can organize. Because I've uh, actually had to go find a I was trying to find a picture of something that happened three years ago or something. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there scrolling like this and going, yeah. Just going all day. So, yeah. There, yeah. Definitely things to think about. Oh, yeah. Think about all oh, the yeah. places in your life you can declutter. Absolutely. I think it'll help you be happier and more organized. So. And you'll feel a lot more relieved, I think, because every time you go to clean something or you take care mm -hmm. of whatever is bothering you, mm -hmm. you immediately feel relief. Right. No, I totally get that. Totally get Absolutely. that. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Totally get that. All right. So I think we've said enough about that. So um, on the next show, Monday, yeah. we're going to be talking about ways to have fun at work. That sounds great. So Let's I think it. that's going to be a fun show. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, fun work. Okay. Yeah. So until next week, have a great weekend. We'll see you later. Peace out.